Hello, hope you're doing well. Just a quickie, I wanted to pop back on and let you look, all know that um, I've sold a few of these cases so far and they're being delivered tomorrow. They've been sent out tomorrow, um, a batch full of them. The reason is I've stopped production because I've made a slight alteration. This is the original case with a nice snug fitting lid with the drone in there. Gray seems to be the color that everyone's after. This is the mod modification uh, made to this is there's a little millimeter pit on the outside edge two of them two at the end and little millimeter pip little indentation on the case which gives the case the lid in case a little bit of uh, a click on and off it may wear down eventually but it's a snug fit anyway but it's a lot better than the original so I thought I'd uh, print a few of these up and if you have a look, little look if you're into a DJI Neo drone this is the case for you it's a lovely snug fit it fits in your bag perfectly there you go and then the lid on top obviously you put that in your bag um, upright anyway but the, the idea of this case is it's nice and snug so it doesn't take, take up too much room and the idea of the DJI Neo I think you'll agree is that it's a small compact little drone fantastic little bit of kit to take around with you when you're doing your vlogging or just general out about having a bit of fun um, Check out Love My New T-Shirt. That's on my site as well if you're interested. I've been teaching myself Autodesk Fusion over the last couple of weeks and I'm sort of getting there. A little bit long with doing a couple of other bits and pieces, but sometimes, you know, I've watched. There's not any decent tutorials on there. There's a few here, a few there. There's not one decent series. So what I am to do in the future, next go over the next couple of weeks, if you're interested, do a couple of tutorials. So if you're trying to teach yourself Autodesk Fusion, maybe you can watch my um, short series of videos and uh, we'll learn it together and see how we get on. Maybe we could have a bit of a, a chat on Facebook or something. Have a little let check out on Life of John Facebook page, which is predominantly uh, pub sheds, really. Pub sheds, drinking and carp fishing. But why not add a bit of a Fusion 360 on top of it? Autodesk Fusion, I think it's called now. I've drawn up this um, case myself and a few other bits and pieces. I'm getting there, a little bit slow. But if you learn it the same as me, you just got yourself a printer or you just want to teach yourself a bit of uh, Autodesk Fusion, then pop along, be uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the um, like button, but make sure you hit the uh, notification bell at the same time so you'll hear of any new videos coming out and um, I'll see what I can do over the next few weeks. Um, as I say, at the moment, from what I've seen on YouTube, there's not one decent set of um, tutorial videos for beginners. I mean, I'm talking right basics, scroll wheel, left mouse, right mouse stuff. You know, I've watched them tutorials myself and they fly around with their mouse, you don't even know where they're going, so I'm going to do it right back to basics, start from scratch. <clears throat> Let's see how we get on. So if you're interested in that, pop along to the Facebook group Life of John, which should be predominantly pub sheds and drinking and chatting and a bit of cart fishing and some raffles on there as well. But also, why not have a little bit of 3D printing and Autodesk Fusion tutorials on there at the same time, we can have a little bit of a chat. Or you can message me underneath any of the videos that I've uh, put out already. Oh, and by the way, to the guy, if he's going to watch this video, I'm not sure if he's going to watch this video, to the person that mentioned to me about my caliper, I think he took great pleasure in laughing about me showing a, I think he said something about never trust a guy who's got a Team U caliper, a plastic one from Team U, and then he rates it. I don't rate it. it you know what? It does the job. Um, I'm not going to start doing uh, any aerospace engineering with it, but for what we want, I think he said something about it. It wasn't on zero or something, I don't know. But you can zero it any place you want, it doesn't matter. And as a side note, I do have um, another caliper there, which I bought myself. Okay. I don't know why I'm shining this, but. And I do have, which I treat myself to the other day. Treat myself to this the other day, you see. It's a cheap make, but it's really handy. Considering this bed is 256 and by 256, I think by 256 in the X1Z. Um, nice caliper there. Metal, wasn't from Team U. Um, that's a 300 mil one, which is well handy. So, uh... so there you go. So the person that said, never trust a person that's got a Team U, rates Team U 
caliper. I've got a load of calipers in other places as well. I think I own six in all. But um, and I've been using this sort of stuff for years and years. When I used to be called vernier calipers, and I can read a vernier scale, believe it or not. This is a plastic Timu one. It does the job. Plastic faces. Um, I think you can zero it out where you want. Internal external measurements and depth measurements. Depth measurements, so were. Uh, whoever that was, thank you for watching the video anyway. So, enough for now, people. As I say, the cases are for sale on Shopify, Etsy, and soon to be eBay. And check out, look at that. You like a bit of Noel Gallagher. Oasis. Love my new t shirt. I'm going out later on for a beer. I'm, I'm wearing this to wind something up. <coughs> Catch you later, people. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon for many more. I'll tell you what, I'm loving my printer. Bamboo Labs P1S. Is it a P1S? Lovely. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.